Let's begin with an update on the India-England Test Series. There was a big question mark over whether the Manchester Test will go ahead as per schedule because of a COVID crisis. Now, the latest information that we can tell you is that the match will happen as scheduled. And that's because the entire Indian team has tested COVID negative. Now, remember that there was a lot of drama that played out yesterday because of India's physiotherapist, Yogesh Parmar, testing COVID positive. The fate of the fifth and final test between India and England was hanging in the balance. But with the Indian players returning negative COVID tests, RT-PCR tests, the match uh, at Manchester has been given the go-ahead. This happened late Thursday night. The BCCI was, of course, very concerned by all that was happening in England because it could have a cascading effect on the second half of the IPL with the World T20 also scheduled two days after the IPL ends. The Indian Cricket Board must no doubt be breathing a huge sigh of relief after all the players return negative tests. The Indian camp was first hit by the pandemic in the middle of the fourth test when several members of the support staff tested positive and this included head coach Ravi Shastri. India currently leads the five match series 2-1. Now the Manchester test will go on as scheduled as all the uh, Indian players have tested negative. The RT-PCR tests have returned negative. When India bowled on it, it didn't look as flat. When England bowled... Let me take this across to our consulting editor, Boria Majumdar, for the latest updates. Boria, good morning. Huge uh, concern, of course, over the COVID crisis and how it's hit the Indian team. But fortunately, nothing to worry about because, you know, if there was a problem of, uh, you know, any of the players testing positive. It wasn't just a question of the Manchester test. The IPL, the World T20, all of that then would have been hit. Yeah, Akshita, you're right. But at the same time, I will have to say that it's still not 100%. And that's, I can tell you for all our viewers on India today, it's still not 100%. And this is still about 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, yes, everybody has returned negative RT-PCR tests. That's confirmed. All players who were tested yesterday. I said it on India Today at uh, 9 p.m. in our bulletin that the test results will come around 10 p.m., which did. But then I can tell you that the C CEO of the ECB, Tom Harrison, had a meeting with the Indian players at India time, 11.30 p.m. And that meeting continued for a couple of hours or, uh, you know, around that. The BCCI was in touch with the Indian players. I can also tell you there is a section of the Indian players who aren't keen because they are saying that if the incubation period is three, four, five days, they were in contact with Yogesh Parmar, the physio. So even if RT-PCR tests have come negative, if something shows up in the middle of the game, then what happens? According to British law, Hmm. It is it is now uh, allowed that the match can go on because 14 days after your second jab and if you are negative RT-PCR, you can play. So that's the law of the land. And okay. if the match doesn't go on, then the television rights amount is close to 300 crores that the BCCI will have, its, uh, will have to pay or might have to pay. So it's hmm. very complicated. I repeat this. Final clarity. British media is saying match is on. Okay. You and, and most likely it is on. But... Final clarity hasn't come yet till 2 a.m. in the morning. Meetings were on because a section of the Indian players continue to be jittery because of their close proximity to Yogesh right. Parma. And so there is. If Sure. There's a bit of concern still at this point uh, about this COVID uh, crisis and how, you know, it's spreading among some parts of the Indian team. Boria, thank you for joining us. We'll keep coming across to you for the updates on that. Now, as far as the Indian cricket team is concerned, what made headlines in the last few days is Mahendra Singh Dhoni's comeback. Not as a player, but he's going to be playing a mentorship role for the World T20 for our team. He's, of course... Uh, not just hugely popular in India, but of course his skills, his ability, uh, his Midas touch, all of that will be brought back to the team. But there have been a lot of questions over exactly who pulled this off, who's behind Dhoni's inclusion as a mentor. We tell you the inside story in this report. T20 World Cup squad took a backstage the moment MS Dhoni was announced as the mentor of Team India. After all, Dhoni is one name that unites the nation. The former India captain will be there in the Indian dressing room and in India jersey once again, but in a different role. So how was this master stroke pulled off? It was a couple of months ago when BCCI secretary Jay Shah met the former India skipper in Dubai when he came up with the idea. 
That was one box ticked, but still the current team management also had to be asked. Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma gladly accepted the proposal. After all, they've shared a healthy camaraderie with Dhoni, under whose leadership both Virat and Rohit's careers have flourished. There was also a thought that Ravi Shastri may feel that his position as head coach was being eroded. Shastri too was convinced and was told that Dhoni will not be bigger than him, but as mentor, Dhoni will be no lesser in that dressing room. Such was the secrecy of the entire procedure that even the selection committee was informed about Dhoni's new role on the eve of the T20 World Cup selection. To throw a spanner in the works, a complaint has been filed against the appointment, citing conflict of interest clause since Dhoni is still playing in the IPL. However, top sources in the BCCI say they've got it all covered. Dhoni's ability to man-manage is an art not many have perfected. And then the experience of leading India to three ICC titles is a job only he has pulled off. Sports Bureau, India Today.